I mean, and even so, as bad as things are in this country, it's amazing that things have sort of, we've got some good things that have come out recently. We have to, sometimes we've got to focus on those things. Like, I would have never, I would have totally lost the bet that we would have marriage equality 50 states wide at this point. You know what I mean? I'd have totally lost that bet. And the fun thing is, I would have lost that bet the day before we had it. You know what I mean? Like, I'd have been like, there's no way that's going to happen. Hold on, my phone update. Oh, we got it, we got it, we got it. Like, it was just amazing. Like, you just woke up one day, and I really never got the whole people not wanting gay people to get married thing. Because I lived in the Bay Area. I just didn't understand, if you don't like gay people, why is marriage the right you want to keep from them? <laughs> the married people know what I'm talking about right now. <laughs> I mean, I, if you don't like gay people, why is that the I mean, I, you know, like, I'll, I'll show you. By applause. Who's married by applause? Okay. That's been the least enthusiastic applause of the night right there. I'm like, well, why you gotta bring that? Are we clapping? This, I'm trying to have a good time. So, okay. Why you gotta bring in my problems? And I'm married. I'm not anti-marriage, but it's just like marriage is not... It's a, it's a hard thing. It takes time and commitment. It's like, it's like saying you don't want gay people to climb mountains. You know what I mean? It's just like... It's, like, it's not something for, it's not for everybody. If you don't do it, you're going to climb the thing. You're going to die along the way. You're going to lose somebody. You never know when it's going to end. I thought we were at the top by now. It's just a hard decision. <laughs> if you don't like gay people, stop them from doing things that are fun. You know what I mean? I don't like gay people, so they can't have ice cream. No! <laughs> but ice cream is so delicious. Then, sir, you have to stop sucking other men's dicks. <laughs> but dicks are delicious, especially when they're covered in ice cream. <laughs> You haven't lived until you've had a pistachio-covered dick. <laughs> Damn it, gay guy, now I kind of want to taste a pistachio-covered dick. <laughs> I got to go to the airport. <laughs> get in a bathroom stall, take a wide stance, tap out pistachio penis. <laughs> and I'm running for re-election this year. Damn it, gay guy. <laughs> On the Christian Family Initiative. <laughs> it was weird how marriage equality happened. It just, you woke up one day, it was like, ah. Supreme Court's like, yeah, it's fine. <laughs> what? Are we going to have to go stonewall on this? No, no, we just... We were tired of getting emails from our grandkids. We just had to go like... Oh. <laughs> just felt like they folded. I, I mean, it's funny, man, because... I, I really don't understand the Supreme Court. Didn't we escape? Like, not, well, not all of us. Didn't you white people get out of England so that you could get away from, like, tyranny and absolute power and all that shit? And now you have a Supreme Court. Like, I don't understand. Why are, and why do we leave the most important decision in the country to the oldest group of people in the country. I don't really understand that. I mean, I know they're not all old, but Atlanta Kagan's like in her 50s. She's like a millennial. You know what I mean? Like, it's... I'm not against the old people. I'm just saying, I don't know why the Supreme Court is such an old group, because anybody can be on the Supreme Court. Why isn't it filled with people of all ages so we can get a little diversity on there? Like, I don't understand. You know, people are going to be around to live to see the decisions the Supreme Court makes. You know what I'm saying? Like, I think it's fine to have old people. There should be somebody in their 80s and 70s and 60s represent old people. And then somebody in their 40s and 50s represent middle-aged people. Then 20s and 30s, young adults. And then somebody, a teenager and a kid. All the way down to a baby to represent the Tea Party. Wah! <laughs> Big government, wah! <laughs> and then on Twitter, because I, I, I was tweeting about marriage equality, and I got people were sort of giving me, like, you know, you get those trolls who are, like, trying to troll you. I love when trolls are too stupid to understand how to troll correctly. <laughs> Some guy was like, oh, well, if men can marry men and women can marry women, then why can't I marry a dog? I'm like, dude, just be patient. <laughs> we do big things in this country. Eventually, they'll take that Apple Watch, hold up against a dog's face, and I'll be like, I want to marry you. And you'll marry a dog, man. You'll marry a dog. He's like, that's not what I meant. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. 